Hello, people of the world. I want to talk a little bit about my seal of the living God, otherwise known as, affectionately, the mark of the beast. Don't get scared, okay? You got to understand something about Revelation 13, and that is that God has a sense of humor. God has a sense of humor when he wrote that, and there's actually an opposite interpretation to that verse. I really need you guys to think logical, common sense logical, okay? Think about it. As far as like the Christian faith is concerned, not just the Christian faith, but all religious faiths, all of the fighting between denominations, between different faiths, do you really think God wants that? No, he wants to unify ecumenical unity between all people who believe in God. And there's only one way to do that, by marking each and every individual that belongs to God. There's many, 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 many verses in the Bible besides Revelation 13, where God wants his people marked. Do you understand that? Psalm 37, verse 37. Mark the perfect man, for the end of that man is peace. Think about all the fighting you have in Christianity, all the fighting between denominations. You really think God wants that? No. He wants everybody to get along. And the thing about the mark for God's chosen people who wear it, they already have the law of God in their hearts. This is just a visual representation that they belong to him so they can show themselves to God and to the world. Their law, the kingdom. You've heard of the verse, I think it's in the Gospel of Thomas, where the kingdom, or Gospel of Luke even, the kingdom of heaven is within you. You know what that means? It means the laws of the kingdom are in your heart. And that's, that's, that's also mentioned in Jeremiah 31. I will put my law in their hearts, in their inward parts, but I will also write it on their hearts. This is a visual representation of what's going on on the inside. And it's the only way to categorize and to identify God's people as belonging to him. This will issue peace between all religions and the world and for those who belong to God. It has nothing to do with evil, okay? It's the seal of the living God. Watch my other videos where I talk about the numerological meaning behind it. It's an interdependent relationship between God and man. It's exemplified in this. It's a visual representation. It's also prophetically fulfilled from the book of Isaiah. I will grave in thee, Zion, upon the palm of my hand, Isaiah 49, 16 shall lift up an ensign to the nations and a standard for all the people. This is it. This is the ensign. This is the standard. This will bring unity to the world. I kid you not. I don't have to convince you because it's going to happen regardless. I'm just telling you before it happens not to worry about it. This is a good thing. This is actually required by God. There is no Antichrist. That's just fiction, drama in the book of Revelation, okay? The Antichrist is actually the Christ, me. It's just a joke. There's no, there's no RFID chip that's going to be implemented, implemented. It's a mark. The book says mark, not a chip. And it's not about keeping tabs on people. It's, it's about letting the, the laws in their heart conduct themselves. The kingdom of God, the kingdom of God will be loosely divided. There's not going to be all these rules and regulations and requirements and restrictions and mandates because the law is in your heart and on your heart. And your conscience will rule you also because everybody will be wearing it. You will be helping each other in a gregarious manner. Just how, just how Bad, corrupt, bad company corrupts good character. Well, good company will actually uplift good character. 
It'll be contagious. Watch. I promise you. Check it. Just wait. Wait and see. It's going to be implemented very, very soon. So get ready for it. It's good. I promise you it's good.